wake up late, say hi. Hey, everybody. Boys. Welcome back to hey, Five Boys in a Friday. Business, a podcast where... Why did you keep doing it? Oh, I Is that Axl Rose? It was a fade out. <laughs> oh, it was a fade out. Not oh, was that, is that what it was? It didn't seem like it. All right. All right. Well, oh, so speaking of GNR... Hey, everybody. Welcome back to... We're oh, unprofessional. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Five Boys in a Business, a podcast where we talk about the business... The family and the mini shenanigans involved. You can catch us most Mondays. We are on our fourth week without video, which is both good and bad. I'm Emily King. I'm Richie King. And I'm Harrison King. And we are here to share some of our thoughts. There was uh, on Instagram, speaking of Guns N' Roses. From the couch, the big comfy couch. They had a clip <laughs> of, because Guns N' Roses is currently on tour. Really? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. And uh, I hmm. think so. Uh, anyway, they've been on tour. They got to get back together. Uh, Axl Rose slash Duff McKagan. All of them? Uh, Izzy Stradlin's not there, I don't think. And Steven Adler, the original drummer, is not there. I don't know who's. Anyway, I don't know who those guys That's are. That's cool. But anyway, they had a clip of Axl Rose dancing on stage. Oh, jeez. And people were going, he's amazing. I was like, no, he's a 60 year old guy trying to do something <laughs> he did when he was 20. He looks ridiculous. Yep, yep. Drink a little too much. <laughs> Dr. Bulls just sent me a picture of a text from Ben, and it said, veterinary practice ownership is like juggling with 20 balls in the air while someone across the room is throwing darts at your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say oh, that's my being, God, that's so spot on. I, I think that's being kind, actually. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, my God. I think it's more like somebody coming in and giving you a gut shot while you try and juggle. Oh, gee, many Christmas. Anyway, I'm texting her back. Um, so I true. Had, I had Madeline's birthday was last week, and it was on She's Thursday. She's 25. She's 25. Quarter, <gasps> quarter, of a, quarter century. Of, quarter what? of a century. What? Yep. Um, I'll let her know what it feels like to be a half century here in about six weeks. I bet it feels the exact same. It feels terrible, actually. But go ahead. Um, and so we, I gave her all her presents, which I think I mentioned last week. Um, I ended up getting her way too much dessert. I got her two boxes of crumble cookie and a box of Gigi's cupcakes. Um, way too much. Um, you were eating it all weekend. Yeah. Way too much. Yeah. And so, um, we were going to go horse, horseback riding, but horseback riding got canceled. Why? Because, because it's the, storm. It, it the ro- torrential it, floods. It rained for like thirty minutes, and then it lightened. Oh, that was like Friday. Yeah, it's Thursday. Thursday. It's Thursday. And then, it, and, then it lightened, and then there was lightning for like maybe another thirty minutes. So we rescheduled for this Thursday. But her birthday went swimmingly, and since it got canceled, we went to the arcade at Pinheads, and we got oh cool, a little tipsy, and we played some games. There you go. Well, that's well, that's good. where I took and Calvin for his yesterday birthday. Funny enough, they had. A Halo arcade game that I have been looking for forever. The Halo Fire Team Raven game in the back corner. There you I was go. walking around and I was looking, I was like, oh, that's cool. Basketball, the Basketball Connect 4, which is actually a lot of fun. The Basketball Connect 4, there's this game over here. And then I lock eyes with the Halo Fire Team Raven. And I'm like, <gasps> and Madam's like, you want to play that? I was like, yes. And so he played <laughs> it. Sorry. So, yeah, uh, that is neat. I really love the way they have that set up because it's yeah, really, cool. they have a ton of games. Yeah. And I think they have a ton of places for their staff to help people as far as like beverages and right. like food. They don't they just have, have one have local area. Bars. They've got like three bars scattered throughout the facility. You know, it's very, yeah, it's easy to get around. I don't remember it being that huge. Yeah. Like I think it they, looking yeah. like that, but that was years ago. Is that a so. franchise no, no, they though? redid it. They redid yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure it's changed. Because you remember we went it. when you were a kid to a party there and we went to the duck pin bowling. Yeah, they've I drastically like. changed so, pinheads the yeah. way it looks. Um, I want to go there at night and do like where they have the disco ball going and everything. Right. Like I want to take the clinic people there and do oh, a party. Would Wouldn't that be a blast? Yeah, oh my God, fun. that'd be so much yeah, fun. Yeah, the arcade was a ton of fun. Like I said, they had this game. It was basically Basketball Connect 4. Yeah. And it was so much fun. I don't remember seeing um, that. So, yeah, it was a good time. Some of the games are... The drinks were good. Yeah, we played a... Uh, I think they've got a Walking Dead game there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That the I played with Calvin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with Calvin. <laughs> so Because we, we played that game. And I'm playing, you know, I'm hitting the people in the head. I'm hitting the zombies in the head with the arrows. And Madeline's over here hitting the humans. And we're losing points. And I'm like, honey, you got to aim the zombies. Like, you know, it was very funny. So <laughs> She's like, shut I, up, Harrison. Has anybody that you've Red ever X's known. Red kept popping up. On was the there, when you were there, was there anybody riding that thing that's like those movie chairs with the big oh, screen? Oh, yeah, there was, yeah. I think it's like this. this I like don't, a 3D? Like, I don't kind know. Of? I don't know if it's like this. this 
Is it like a VR like yeah. experience? Right. I don't know what it's like, but like they close the curtains and like everything. I want to try that. Have yeah. you ever seen it's the uh, the one in the? It's like I saw a clip of a video of this lady, an older lady, on one of those things. It was like in the middle of a mall. You know, like yeah, they have the kiosks and stuff, and the, like merchants and stuff, the carts. They sell. They had something like that, and this lady's just screaming her head off, and she's like on this chair because <laughs> she has the goggles on. You know? Right. Yeah, <laughs> I think funny. that would be a lot of fun. So. Yeah, her birthday went well, and then she left for St. Louis to go to her family party, which was all, which also went well. I had the house all to myself, and I those are glorious weekends, aren't they? I was very productive actually that weekend because I not only did lots of yard work, uh, like mowing and pulling out the grass in between the fence. Finally, I also went through my um, my closet and pulled a bunch of clothes from my closet. Uh, you have to do it occasionally. Yeah, it was getting a little crazy. But I had a I had a a thirteen or fourteen year old Harrison video game gamer moment oh, this that's weekend. It. Okay. This game comes out. It's called Twelve Minutes. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's produced by an indie company, right? And when I say indie company, it means that it was produced by one technically one person, but there was like a few other people involved. But this game was produced by or made by one person. The whole premise of the game is that you're playing as the husband and you have your wife and they live in this little apartment. There's a bathroom, a bedroom, and a living room in a, like a little closet. And so you walk into this room or the living room and you go through this loop of how things are supposed to go. You eat dessert, whatever you do, this, this. And then for whatever reason, time restarts and you don't know why. And so you're back at the front door. <laughs> And so you're trying to figure out what's going on. But the reason that the time loop ends is because this supposed cop barges through the front door and has an arrest warrant for you and your wife. And you don't know why there's an arrest warrant. Mm-hmm. And so it's technically this puzzle, problem solving, like right. thriller kind of game. Um, it was very, very intriguing. I was playing to go to bed at like 12. You know what I mean? I I beat my the, the one game I wanted to beat later like earlier that night, and I went over back. I switched. I downloaded the the tw- or I downloaded 12 minutes, and then I played 12 minutes to like 4:30 in the morning. Oh my god! And I ended up, and I ended up beating it. Okay, oh, you did. And this game, I've followed a bunch of people on Twitter. They kept saying this game is. It was. It's a very mixed reviews, but this game is so hard. Like I, I there were so many puzzles I couldn't get past. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, why is this this way? I had zero problems going through the game. Did it you? was. It's. It's so funny when I when that stuff happens like that. But it was. I, I had a fantastic time, and um, the story was really really good. And it takes a very weird turn and very gross turn. Um, but, yeah. What's so weird? for mature audiences only. It's definitely for mature audiences only. What do you mean weird? Gr- I mean, I'm not going to play it. No one listens is going to play it. So spoilers for anybody listening. If you are going to play 12 minutes, I know they're probably not. <laughs> but got to say, I think you're saying there may be kind of, somebody out there. You never uh, know. <laughs> so it turns out that the cop is actually or let me back. Let me backpedal a little bit. It turns out that the husband, the husband finds out that the wife's dad supposedly got killed right and so this cop who is a friend of her dad's finds out that it was the wife that killed her dad and they were good friends the friend and the dad sorry this is very confusing um but it turns out the wife didn't actually kill the dad it was somebody else and it was actually me the husband and so the husband had an affair with this maid and then the maid had this kid and this and this kid is me the husband and so technically the husband and the wife are steps siblings oh but they're God. married and she's having his kid oh no and so it turns out that that it's all in uh, there are different interpretations due to the ending but that the ending could be that he like it's all in his head because there's these clips at the very end where where the the supposed cop is talking to him and saying how marrying and being in love with your sister is not good and like whatever. It was just a very, very, I, cause I remember the great thing about a game like that is that it doesn't tell you what to do. Right. There's no checklist to do. There's nothing. You just kind of put it together in your head and, 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 and put together each piece to the puzzle. And then you realize you're getting, you're moving forward, you're progressing. <laughs> and so I got to a point where, that I figured that out, and I was like, "Oh God!" I was like, "I am so intrigued," and that's why that's why I like was like, "I have to play it, like finish this game." Um, 
but it was it was really good. You can do some gruesome stuff in that game. Like you can walk into the front door and there's some there's like maybe like 20 seconds where your wife is in the bathroom and she doesn't know you're out in the living room. So you can hide in the closet and she won't realize that you're out there. And so you can wait until the cop barges down the door and he like interrogates her and like kills her and y'all you're you're Whoa. just you're just sitting there watching like looking for information. It's it's crazy. It's Weird. Really, it's really really it was really really good. I recommended it to Holden because he has free time. So he has some And lo and behold he didn't text me back. So cuz he's just he's a busy bad, he's a busy He's just man. a bachelor now, I guess. Yeah, he's I just guess. busy. Busy you know? man. He God. started classes today, so we'll see how that goes. So yeah, he yeah. said he had to walk and see where all of his stuff was, so Oh yeah. I was hoping that they would do that. I don't know. He made me laugh. Yeah, and he goes, "Oh yeah, I had to buy some books. Two hundred dollars. Can you pay me back?" I'm like, "Do you know what you have in your account? <laughs> I gave you money for that goofball." Uh, welcome. <clears throat> I don't think I. Speaking of books, I don't think I think I only had to purchase maybe like a handful of books while yeah, I was at Web Store. Really I don't think I purchased it. Purdue though. I think is very strict about buying books. Oh, well, it depends mm-hmm. on the class. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I I, I say I re- let me rephrase the class, that. Probably that there. Yeah, there are more classes that require books. At Webster, and my major didn't really require books. But when I, t- I when I talked to him, I was like, "Go to the first class first, and then because I mm-hmm. this happened to me a few times. I went and bought the book, and we get in there, like, yeah, oh, you don't need yeah, it. I'm like, dang it, that. I just did, lost did, forty did, bucks. Did, did he buy it new? You gotta buy them used. I don't know. Yeah, but you still get you still could take a hit. Yeah, because when you trade it in, even if it's used, you don't get back full ass. Yeah, I guess so. Especially if you know. buy them new. I got hand, I got hammered once. Yeah, that, new books like, are bad. Yeah, no, I, I think <clears> I bought all my books used. Maybe not like maybe like one, and I think they all might be with you. In one of your closets or storage areas. I think they're all in the basement. Yep. That is the biggest scam. I'm sure they're all still down there. I I can't believe that nowadays they've gone away from, like when we were in school, your school provided your books. That was what they did. They gave you books. James Madison? In college? No, no, not in college. In high school. Oh, yeah. Well, if you go to Carmel, they do, don't they? I think you still have to purchase some. Wait, no, Garen, there's a textbook to, fee. No, you did right. have to buy. You did have to buy books for Garen. Yeah, you yeah. have to buy books for Garen, which is absolutely ludicrous. With the, I mean, that's the one thing that is like ridiculous. It must be they they don't. They maybe. should turn the books in. You should turn them in. Lord knows, after all these years, we have a, all these books floating around, and they should have a library, and then they just dispense them out of there, right. turn them back in. They like need, it's, they need money. No, oh, it's just so stupid. Um, but anyway. That's actually, it would be, I wouldn't mind paying necessarily. It, the hard part is going and finding them. If you had like a book fee, right? Just figure it in the tuition. Yeah. So anyway, Dad, so we had, we had Sunday dinner last night. Yes, we did. Dad was funny. Yes, he was. I think Dad had a lot, to, had a lot of that on Long Island last night. <laughs> I think and he was, did. I told your mom to go home that. and throw it all away. What's, what's funny? I'm done. What's hilarious <laughs> is that not only did he do this thing where he disappears, right? right? The disappearing act of Richard. And so I King. thought, I thought it was just him disappearing. You know, his classic disappearance. But we go down there and he starts loving on you a little bit, and I was like, oh boy, okay, this is Dad. <laughs> okay, Dad, Dad's, lo- Dad, you know, Dad's been drinking a little bit, and so then me and Calvin, we start playing we. And Dad's commentary is hilarious while we're playing baseball. I were play. Or, uh, first off, Calvin, Calvin, mind you, is just hilarious in his own right. Yes, I'm. We're playing, and he's beating me, and he's like, "Harrison, Harrison, I ain't playing any games. I ain't playing any games, Harrison." I was like, "Okay, great." But meanwhile, Calvin's hitting home run left and right, and Dad's over here like, "Whoa, whoa, that's a homer." Whoa! There it is. <laughs> Got a hold of that one. Uh, it was it was it was very very funny. And he's he's and then Dad he looks at me and he just says he's beating you. I was like, yeah, he sure is. Sure he played we with Evelyn a lot over the summer when she would come over. And meanwhile, I'm like, why in the heck? Can I not hit? I'm not. I hit one home run. Oh my was, God! He thought like, it was hilarious though when like, you would say that. You'd be like, "What the heck? I was like, Why can't I?" And he would just laugh. I, I, I did not oh understand. My gosh. And then the game ends. Okay, and in Wii Sports, you have these skill levels if you play long enough. I look at my skill level and it's 67. His skill level is like 890. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, that makes a lot of sense now. No uh, wonder he's beating me. Uh, <laughs> no, the Long Island tees will they'll they'll sneak up on you. <laughs> if, <laughs> if anybody needs a recipe and, for Long and Island then, tees, and let then us know. We it's... start playing bowling and Calvin says, Dad, you wanna play? And and he, Calvin doesn't even let my dad answer. And he's like, No, you're gonna play, Dad. You're gonna play. And he's, he goes over to three to three players and dad's like, No, no. I'm gonna go upstairs. Your mother needs me. <laughs> 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 and he gets up and goes upstairs. And then after we're done, I go upstairs and dad's out on the next to the pool, head down. And he's just stroking Lance. 
He was petting him. Hanging out with Lance. It was very, very funny. Yeah. Yeah, if if anybody... If anybody needs hilarious. a recipe, we've got a killer recipe for Long oh, Island. Killer, it's killer, all right. It was Long very Island iced tea, dead. you know, straight from the uh, Biddles recipe. <laughs> your box. liver, your liver will come to you in a dream and not go. Hey, man, hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> Cut yeah, it out. It's good. I mean, it's good. It is good. It tastes good. It's very yeah. sweet and it's little. refreshing. Mm-hmm. I agree. So, it's agree. a keeper. Yeah, it is. Parties. It is. You know, because we made that, we took it over to Betsy's for the get together. And more than one person said, what you guys put in this? Because, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we followed the recipe, but it's just got so much stuff in it. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it does have a lot of stuff in it. But you can't taste it, really. It's so because yeah. of the lemonade and mm-hmm. and um, it has mostly clear things in it. Right. So it, there's not, I mean, there's not a ton of, it's, right. it, it's easy to cover it up. Right. Um, but it's good. It's good. It's very good. Oh, yeah. No, I think so, too. That's really good. Especially, I mean, because yesterday we were out. Uh, by the pool is so hot, and when you have something like that that's that's cold and sweet and refreshing like that, you cool tend, it down. You tend to you tend to chug more than you anticipated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we we had uh, hamburgers and last night, and we thought out ground beef and thought out ground beef never goes together well for uh, hamburgers. It just doesn't. I thought the burgers were good though. No, they're yeah, good. I, I, but I, gotta, I gotta be honest. I don't know if I like Traeger burgers. You like oh well char like grilled burgers like those are way better, I mean like unless I you make them. I just don't like how, I one I think the taste isn't as good and two I don't think like I like when I'm burping after I ate it like it just like tastes like Traeger. It's like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know what we're doing next Sunday? We're coming to your house for char broil. We'll do a burger test. No, no, not to say that the burgers think, are bad. I, still I think that's what them. we do. Don't you think? I think we go to his house. Wait, and your burgers on that burgers. gas grill are better than ours. I think they. I'm probably, not saying that my burgers are better. I'm just saying that I think I like grilled burgers better. Than I think they have a different this. taste. They really do. They well, have, sure they do because of the gas. Yeah, but I mean, I'm like, I think there's definitely like there's some pros and cons to. Now, well, I like the whiskey burgers when you're making them like, and they're like made a certain way. Right. Overall, I just think that your Traeger skills are terrible. No, I it's just you have the smoke, the smoke flavor. Really, I just think that you really need to be <laughs> quiet. You know, I mean, you're out there fiddling around. You got to keep an eye on those burgers. You know? No, not really. Not not like uh, not like the the oh. gas. Well, grill. you can't turn them into okay. a briquette with the gas grill. Speaking of speaking of the grill and burgers, actually, <clears throat> I was grilling burgers maybe if two weeks ago. I can't believe you still use and, that thing. It's like trashed. And, yeah, uh, yeah. And so I go out there and I don't turn on the the first burner because that burner is dangerous. Okay, <laughs> it gets too hot. If I turn it on, it gets too hot, and therefore the grill starts literally burning. <laughs> Okay, so I walk away for I walk away for a minute. I've had that happen to Don't me. put it next back to your side. Oh, back no, up no, a little no, bit. No, no, no. It caught wait, on fire on me a few wait, times. Wait, wait, wait. I walk I walk away for a minute or two, and it's happened before. I walk away for a minute or two, and I come back. <laughs> looks outside. She says, "Harrison, what's going on with the grill?" And I look out there, and it's just ooh, like smoke everywhere. And I'm like, "Oh God." I'm like, babe, this has happened before. Let me take care of it. And so I open it up, and it was worse than before. I open it up, <laughs> and the bottom of the grill just looks like a volcano. <laughs> it's just on fire everywhere. That's when you All get right? your beer and like just toss well, it. Funny, it doesn't help. What's funny <laughs> is that a thing, grease thing fire. God, thank God is that yeah it was, and thank God that there wasn't a whole lot of food on the grill to begin with because all it had pretty much it it, it it was done. But. <clears throat> I'm like, okay, I'm, you know, I open it up and it's freaking crazy. And I, I feel like my, my eyebrows got singed or whatever, you know, from the heat. And so I go back inside, I get a hot box cup of water and I just pour it on the, the grill and it was fine. Yeah. But my God, it was, it was crazy. Well, the problem, the problem with that is, <clears throat> and this is the issue I had with that grill is that you, it's, it's, it's the gas line. Yeah. So I would always go down there real quick and unhook the gas. So, you know. Uh, once the grease burns off, it's okay. But I mean, you really, you probably, honestly, that grill, the, uh, not the, I forget the name. They're like diffusers or something. That it's what actually distributes the gas and thus mm-hmm. the heat and all that stuff. One of those is rusted out because it's just, oh. I mean, I used to have a bad habit of, of turning it up high and letting it get really hot and then turn it down. But I think over time, cause I never left it out in, out in the elements really. Uh, it's just those things have to be rebuilt occasionally, and I just never rebuilt them. But if when when it's brand new, the you know they they work great. Mm-hmm. I mean, so um, we got years out of that though. Yeah. 
probably 10 years before I, I mean, bought the it Traeger. Does, I mean, it does the job. I just, yeah. I think the, my favorite part <coughs> about it is that it has that searing station. Right. And so I'll go out there and make bacon instead of the house smelling like bacon. It's yeah. great. That's the nice thing about uh, the uh, the camp the camp stove the camp we stove. have yeah, at, at, the, awesome. at the lake because you can go out and make bacon and stuff. And it's because at the lake, you don't we don't have like an, uh, a fan that actually goes to the outside. Above you the, keep it away from your siding, right? What? <laughs> your siding. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. It's at the corner. Yeah, of the don't area. ask Dad me. Dad didn't do that. <laughs> Dad, Years ago Dad at the Granger siding. At the Granger house, I came in and I was like, oh, no, it's like melted. <laughs> so I had to go. I, I went somewhere to get siding gray siding and you couldn't get it to match because it's faded oh so no. you could see it you could still see it but i mean it was, it was on the back that, of the that's house that's how casey and katie's house is there's some that look different i got my speaking of fading i got my power washer today are you gonna, Ooh, what are you gonna power wash i'm gonna power wash the house um i Use got that it's cleaner called, the, I, it's called a sun it's called a sun joe power washer the sun what sun joe sun joe okay and so did you i get got lows what did you get lows no amazon Okay. And so I, uh, I got, yeah, I got two big jugs of, of cleaner that, and it's actually really cool cause it has different tips you can put on. So it has yeah. like, like the two millimeter tip, one millimeter tip, and then like the zero millimeter tip and then the soap tip. Now so. that siding though, I mean, I, it'll be interesting to see how clean it comes. I think that, I, I mean, it's 20 year old siding. So I mean, I, I power washed a little bit of the siding just to see what it would look like with Missy and Jim's power washer last year. And, and you worked? could tell the difference. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. I think it'll look maybe be a bit different on the on the side of the house that faces the sun the most because that's it's it's the side that's towards the street on the left side because that side looks much more faded than the rest of the vinyl but otherwise looks good. I I, I understand the logic behind vinyl siding, but it just doesn't age well over the course of you can't paint yeah. it you can't do any of that stuff. It's rough. I'm not I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of vinyl siding either. Those houses, though, it's so funny because, you know, I've been in your house a lot, and, and I remember our house in Granger, and I think back, I mean, what those houses cost to buy back then, back then, I mean, what they, you know, $90,000, $100,000, and you go, there can't be 30, 40 grand in this. Mm. There can't be, you know, just because you see the materials, and you see, right. you know, all the stuff, and you go, they have to be doubling their money when they, when they, when they sell these, they have to. Mm. I mean, because, you know, especially in that neighborhood, because – you were too young when we left, but <clears throat> whoever they the whoever the builder used to put roofs on didn't put the roofs any roof on right. So instead of going through each tab twice, they just went through it once. So every couple of years or whatever, every year you would see people getting new roofs because the, the winds would come through mm. and just take sections of roof off, and that actually Oof. happened to us when we were trying to sell it. Yeah, you we, got up there with. Them. No, we, we, we were, it was a showing and basically the, like a glue gun. And yeah. <laughs> no, it was a, no, it was a, it, it was a showing. And I mean, it wasn't uncommon to see, you know, shingles in the neighborhood. Mm. Um, so I remember, uh, we were about to leave because they were going to bring somebody out to look at the house. Mm. And, uh, we were literally, and I remember looking out the front window. I was like, man, somebody's roof took a hit. And I was like, that looks like my roof. So I went out there and, <laughs> and it was a section this big. <laughs> and I went out there, picked it up, and threw it in. Uh, and I went and looked on the. It was off the back of the house, yeah. On the on the where the garage was, and mm -hmm. I and then I got up there like later with some nails and some uh, asphalt in a tube, <laughs> and just it passed inspections so or whatever. The uh, yeah, but it was uh, a decent I'm, sized section. I'm of, so of glad that we got the new roof when we did right before we moved in, because the old roof was bad. So. Yeah, I'm roofing's really happy, those things. You, that's that. a deal breaker. You got those. Uh, Bluish had to get a new <coughs> roof. They recommended they got a new roof uh, before we bought the house, or like they told him that it would probably they would have to he would have to get one very very soon. And the inspect he had inspectors come out um, a few weeks ago to look at the roof because there was some hail uh, went around that time, and they said they like desperately needed a new roof. <laughs> how, <laughs> and, was, and how old was it? It's old, and he's just and he's actually just remodeling the kitchen right now, so it's. So it's kind of a. Is he keeping you know, track? Like, I mean, is, he, is he going? I'm upside down. There's no way I could ever remember. Oh, he's going to be upside down. There is no question about oh, it. Oh, on Bluish's house. Yep. There is no question about it. He is totally going to be upside down. Um, it always makes me laugh when you watch those flip shows. Like they're always out in California. What was the? Flip so are or Casey flop? and Katie though. But you look at the, some of those things and you go, how? I mean, it's always like you know they they're selling this house for two million dollars and making fifty grand. You go that. Yeah. That's not very, you know. The flips, I you know, when we used to do that, uh, a buddy of mine used to do it. You always made money when you bought it. I mean, you'd have to buy it for practically nothing, and mm -hmm. then go have 
you know, 40, 50 grand to the upside mm-hmm. and they put 10 grand in or something or 20 grand in it to fix, you know, right. especially the rentals. Cause you go and say, I'm going to fix the things that really are going to be a problem. HVAC, put a new roof on it, siding, right. that kind of stuff, you know, or, and, and, but yeah, some of those places are rough. Oof. Yeah. No rough, rough. I'm just glad we got our house and we did. I hear things are, 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 are leveling out. Oh, prices are leveling out. Oh, you Maybe. think so? I would I think know. that at some point they're going to have to, because I mean, you have all the purchasing dollars there, you know, there's so many people, you know, not right. everybody's going to keep doing, I would think that it's like, well, it's just a demand thing. I mean, people, but you know, yeah. I think it depends on where you're at though. Cause so many people have left the big metropolitan areas that work remotely now and they can, you know, they can live anywhere pretty much, you know, right. and, and so long as they have internet access. And mm-hmm. so that's, you know, I, I did hear a guy say that, um, houses on like five acres or so are still in huge demand because people want to move out. You know, if you've right. got, right. <clears throat> you still have high speed or whatever, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's, we'll see what happens. I mean, you still have, you guys have a Brookshire Facebook page, right? Like you're a part of a neighborhood Facebook. Page. I think so. Do you guys ever see uh, like lost pets? Oh, sure. On there. On Brookshire, I feel like, not yeah. too terribly often. In Rome uh, County, though. So I'm on Woo. the I'm on the Mill Grove. I'm a part of the Mill Grove Facebook page. I would say every week there's at least three pets that are are loose. There's, oh really? They, yeah. Well, do they get out of like? Um... And the people just don't care. Like they don't care, and they don't even like. It, it boggles my mind because there's a cat that got loose last week, along with a German Shepherd that got lost last week. German that Shepherd that was roaming the streets. I'm like, what in the world? I'm like, what would happen if I'm walking Annie? And German Shepherd just bolts it to us. I mean, it happened once, but it was with. That's really scary when it that was, happens. That's why I tell people yeah. they really need to carry like, pepper spray. It was with um, the encounter was with like this like terrier mix of some kind. It was smaller than Annie, but it was just roaming around. And it came up to Annie, and Annie was just like cautious. And then the dog like kind of like you know was smelling her, and then nipped her, and Ooh. then Annie like chomp or like <laughs> like bit the dog like put no didn't bite him but just put it back put him in his place and he just like wasn't that and he obviously wasn't having it and he ran off um but that's a problem though, I, man i mean it's yeah i know <laughs> i'm surprised that the hoa hasn't come out and said keep track of your dogs please or like your pets like, there's, well, there's one lady that their dachshunds got her dachshunds gotten out like four or five times and she's like Hey, has anyone seen Billy? Like he's just he's just so old, he's being, you know, stupid. I can't wait for him to die. Blah, blah, blah. Like, if you find him, let me know. I'm like, are you people? I tell you what. You should mess with them. Get on there. Yeah, Billy and I were playing canasta. Yeah, really. <laughs> uh, good lord. Well, I tell you a lot of the people in the Mill Grove neighborhood are complainers. That's that's uh, a lot that's of that. Not, that is not that neighborhood. That is just neighborhood. Oh, I'm no that's what I mean. I mean, I'm sure it's just neighborhood. I mean, get on next door. That's all it is. It's all I mean, complaints. When you go on, a, when you go, occasionally it's a Hey, does anybody know a good person to do this? Or the, it's like, a, yes. you know, hey, uh, I had this good experience. Or and then it's otherwise, it's somebody drew through my yard. Does anybody know who would have left this size tire track yeah. at approximately seven p.m.? Yeah, exactly. You know, or this person's lamp post is out. Can somebody report them to the HOA? Yeah, you know. Or, all, I mean, it's it's always. I mean, somebody posted about Metronet because it's being installed in the neighborhood right now, and apparently they're ripping up people's yards. Oh yeah, they are. They do. They do. I mean, that's what they they've been doing. It. Yeah, they did well, it all in Brookshire. Yeah, so the, my, my favorite one recently was, and I actually unsubscribed after because it, it was just a complaint fest. This lady, and it was in Brookshire, near Brookshire, uh, posted. She goes, "I found this arrow next to my yeah. deck. <laughs> it's dangerous. I can't believe somebody did." And some dude finally gets on, and these people are like, "Yes, you can shoot those a thousand yards." And some guy gets on and he goes, "That came from some house that's next to you." The, uh, he, did, <laughs> he goes some dumb kid did something stupid yeah. and then this they were trying to correct they did said something and he goes wow you must you must shoot a lot to be able to correct me like that and then they're like i am not responding anymore <laughs> god it's so like stupid. you bunch of freaking whiners it is. God. Oh, man. just pick up the arrow and put it in the garbage how it's about that so, it's so funny seeing the amount I it's like i had a broadhead or something on for i wonder big if game. i can find one that happened recently because it is exactly like you're describing Although nothing takes the cake like what's happening now in Roan County because it's either don't go to Sonic or the Hardee's or something. They take a picture of some disgusting meal oh, and God. say, don't go there. Look at this thing I got. I'm like, why? <laughs> don't I was go like, it's like why are you going to Sonic? What do you expect you're going to get at Sonic? A drive-in uh, restaurant. Or, <laughs> or whose dog is this? 
I found right. this little lady, and it's like, what is it? It's it's like that scene from from uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. All the kids that run out of the mountain. It's like that's how I feel like it's like dogs in our own county. Just, uh, let's see. Is there a rule about smoking at the pool? Let's see. Does anyone have a recommendation for a place to rent a bounce house? Yeah, like there's a lot of that now. In next door's defense, I will say we've gotten a lot of recommendations. People for All Star, people have on there saying, "Who should I use?" Yeah, right, yeah. I've moved to the area, and so people have been more than complimentary about All Star. What's hysterical though about like the story I told about the Arrow? Some of the complaints on there serve absolutely no purpose. Mm. It's like no one. I don't know where you live. I don't even know who you are. How on earth right. could I help you with a, a stray arrow that happens to be next to your deck? It makes no sense. You know what we I mean? Have, we have about eight cans of these beans. Could anyone use them? <laughs> That's a little a post. <laughs> a lot of it's honestly people giving away stuff like that. Like, hey, I have this jug of milk. Does anybody want it? Sometimes like people will they'll put on there, you know, I accidentally ordered this detergent. I can't use it. Does anybody right. want it? Right. So uh, the connectivity is uh, cool. It's just funny how those things are. I mean, those complaints are always there. It's just now you have a platform. So they're right. more, much more public. Than they used to be. <laughs> I have a question, man. Yes. About dogs. Okay. Why do dogs... Do, oh, hold on. Do dogs know certain words, or do they just know the sound of the word? Do you know what I mean? They prob- It's probably... I mean, I think that they do know certain words, yes. Okay. Because, yeah, one day I said Vaz, and, <laughs> and Winnie looks at me and goes, it's face, stupid. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sure she did. <laughs> I go tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Come on. Yeah, uh, oh my gosh. Well, uh, have you guys seen those dogs that? Well, I bring that up only because Annie has only three words that she really associates anything with, which is you. Because we'll say, "Do you want to go on a walk? Like, do you want to go do this?" And she'll she knows when I say you like that, she's like, "Oh, like something's happening." Yeah. That walk and food. A lot of the things you do, though, you have to think about a lot of the things that we do when we're using commands are also our body language. So we're like, do you want to go for a walk? And we're like grabbing our Mm -hmm. leash at the same time or whatever. And so that picture that they take a snap, that means a walk, you know, or if you just said walk, like if they knew what that word is and that you didn't do anything else, they Mm -hmm. might know what that word is. Um, But if you and they talk about that in training about generalizing behaviors and that. If you can across the room say, like if I'm just sitting here and I said, Winnie, sit, like I can do, she knows that that means I need to sit down, you yeah. know, and I can do it in a crowded area and she would know what woe means. Like I can say it no matter where she is and anywhere, in any circumstance, that means she knows what that command means. Interesting. So um, I think they do understand certain words, yeah. Right. I can get back with you with the number of words that they know. Okay. Let's do a quiz on all Madeline. the staff and find out. Oh, that's a good idea. What they actually. like go around and say, like, how many words do you think a dog can actually comprehend? Well, that could be a part of the veterinary trivia video that we'll be filming. Soon. There you go. Okay. Moose has Moose does not have any words, but <clears throat> Madeline did get both of them peanut butter, uh, uh, peanut butter chewies while she was in St. Louis, and Moose loves it a little too much. A little too much. You mean? I mean, when I say that, I mean that he'll start he'll start chewing on it, and. And if you if if you come within his surrounding area, he'll start to get a little angry. <laughs> That's really funny. There was a, a a famous story about a guy. I think it was the late 1800s. He had a horse that could supposedly do math, and so they would hold up this thing, right? Hold up a math problem like two plus five or whatever, yeah. and the horse would use its hoof to scratch out like seven or whatever. <laughs> but it turns out, it turns, and, this, and this is the commands that go to mom as she's on her phone the entire time. Anyway, um, so what turns out the guy was. When when they would put the problem in front of the horse, the horse would look to the guy, and the guy would be like, and when he would get to seven, he would go <laughs> like that. So he'd raise his eyebrows and stuff, and they figured out that's, the horse is just that's yeah, just be, stopping when he would. That's really funny. Of course, he uh, would fall for that crap back in the you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. The back, stuff that, back then, when the only only video that was funny was the grape video do you remember that the lady falling when she was stomping grapes <laughs> oh god oh, 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 don't you remember yeah that was a newscast don't you remember they're like you have to do this and she falls and like busts her butt and that was back before reddit when e-bombs world was still popular. oh my god e-bombs world do you remember the one video with the guy <laughs> the old guy he's got he's like trembly and he's got this little cylinder it was like an yeah. old record like a hundred year old recording of something and he goes 
He has it. He goes, yeah, this is really old, and it just shatters. He goes, shit. <laughs> Don't you remember that? <laughs> uh, oh, that is or there was another one where they had put together all these dominoes and or something like that, and the guy was interviewing something, and the cord of the mic hit it, and he just goes, <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. E-Bombs World was great. Jeez, that was yeah, before its time. Lord have mercy. Jared showed me one once for this newscaster. They got this like little gecko looking thing, and the gecko jumps on the guy and he <laughs> loses his mind. Those are great videos. Those are yeah. like pre YouTube. Although, I don't know your opinion about this, Harry, but I watch a lot. I've been watching um, this Parlay Revival, this channel about this guy that redoes hurricane damage boats. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Has he really? <laughs> what? What are you laughing at me for? <laughs> He had so much Long Island ice tea yesterday. He doesn't remember us hazing him about his <laughs> Not only has Dad mentioned this channel three times in the past three weeks, but we go downstairs. No, it's last, about you two. We go downstairs last night, and Dad is sitting there with his drink. He does that. He does this look. He does where he's, he's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are and terrible. I come, down, I come down there, and of course, it's this guy going through whatever's on his boat, and I'm like, "Oh boy, is this the channel?" And Dad's like, "Yeah, yep. it sure is." Yeah. Anyway, so, so anyway, the broader point about YouTube is that they've kind of ruined it versus the Wild West days. Right. And now it's just like watching TV. You have so many ads, ads like every five minutes. Oh yeah, I, I think I would rather take the ads over commercials any day. Well, you can skip the I ads get, after three I seconds. Get, I get unbelievably annoyed at watching a lot like actual TV. So annoying. you can't watch it unless you TiVo it or something, or not TiVo, but yeah, you know, you record it because it's a, such a pain. Ugh. Especially like football games or something where you, you know, yeah. I actually I let it go for about forty or forty five minutes and then I'll start watching it. Yeah, commercials. You can just blast through all the commercials. Yeah, the commercials are terrible. Okay, listen. That channel is very educational. Uh, I, I like it, it very much. I bet it is. It's just funny. I wonder how many times you're going to mention it even more. I'll have to keep tally. So what is that, four times now? Four times. If it gets to a fifth. I do that, though. I'll, I'll start watching a channel like that. Maybe it's woodworking or something, and I'll blast all their videos. And then, yeah. you know, it's mostly things. There's a guy in Wisconsin that uh, redoes um, – speedboats or he's like an engineer or something because he redoes cars and things like that it's interesting what what people do what are you laughing at <laughs> what <laughs> oh my god oh, i would just like to see dad actually it's probably skewed because of calvin watching stuff but i would love to see dad's recommended videos they're all just oh, they're all on, just those. on youtube yeah it's all it's, it's all like be fails all, yeah because we watch fails a lot, or those kind of videos. It's all boat, you know, redo, uh, boat redos. <laughs> yeah. What's fascinating is that they can take these boats. They still charge like a hundred something thousand dollars for boats that aren't seaworthy. They're like six, seven hundred thousand dollars brand new. Yeah. So take these hurricane damaged boats, and if you know what you're doing, you can, you know, he goes some. There are certain grades of boat you don't want. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. As if you were asking him for it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, I, I, I don't I don't like when you go into detail. It's just funny because you'll go, you'll go from, you'll go from, yeah, this channel is really great. You know, it's great or, you know, whatever. And, you'll, and I imagine that you're supposed to end it there. But you'll keep going. <laughs> I go into this, thing. this Half boat, an hour this, later. This boat had a rope on it and it had a lunch cord on it. And somehow he put it all together and it worked. It's crazy. Got <laughs> <laughs> uh, some duct tape. Uh, very funny. Lord. The last thing oh, I'll say about the man. channel. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I stop videotaping? That was really hilarious. Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, funny. oh! Did I tell you that Doctor Pulse told me the name she wants to do for her blog? No, what is it? She can't check your pulse. Oh, I like it. Yeah. That is good. That is yeah. Okay, everybody, look for that. We're going to be blogging Doctor Pulse. She was, she was very the most funny. Thoughtful, you insightful. Better buy that URL like now. I, veterinarian I, no, that we have. Part of the All Star website. But when I told her, when I told her, when we were talking about it, she said, "Does anybody even want to read stuff anymore?" I was like. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I, I think, don't know. I, no, I think, well, I think like, the people yeah. that that read it will be the people that want to be reading. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Well, I, mean, I told her like, I said that the, our our clientele are probably people that would read it anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not. They're not. I don't know. I don't personally think that they're not younger. You know yeah. what I mean? Where they constantly need that 
Yeah, but do you think that I satisfaction? Mean, so I, I yeah, if, if in, I know that it's Dr. Pulse who's doing it. You guys out there who have had her as a veterinarian in an exam room know what we're talking about. And we say, I mean, she's so thorough and she's a very good writer. A very good writer. Um, so. And um, but I was thinking yeah. too, it'd be great if we had an all-star book. What are we going to write about? We just have a original story. I think that's great. Start documenting. Dr. Pulse was wandering through the woods. Or Kristen was <laughs> wandering through the woods. All of a sudden, she noticed a beaver in distress. <gasps> oh, no, she thought. You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. what you can do. Like, she went to its bedside, or its side, <laughs> noticed that there was a, a piece of wood in its foot, or its paw. No, I don't think... You Whatever can... shall I do? <laughs> oh. I think it should be about the... Uh, what is it like? What is, what is it like to run and organize the business like like running the business no i mom i mean like I you're mean, thinking like, fiction no i'm thinking of like a, if you have a kid in an exam room and they need something oh, to do like that kind of a book yeah yeah you oh for that. sure you we can do, do that easily. yeah that's not <clears throat> shoot we can even have that produced on amazon yeah you know what you should do is is create a series for each doctor have a book for each doctor that might be an interesting thought yeah because then if you go in an exam room, you go, I have Dr. Poles. Let's see about Dr. Poles. And you read about her story, how she became a vet, all that stuff. Maybe it can, maybe the story can be about a person, maybe her doctor herself fixing yachts. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kristen yeah. noticed a beaver on a yacht. It was in distress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Not it's only does the she beaver say. Not only does she have to fix the, not only does she have to she fix needs the beaver, epoxy. she needs to fix the yacht as well. <laughs> uh, I think that that's a great idea, Richie, to have a book about each of the. Because you could you could actually illustrate it, but then you self publish it. Like Tatum did. Yeah, you just do it through Amazon. We have lots yeah. of fun videos in the works. Yeah. So very maybe cool. That can yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a good that's a good idea. It's a good creative idea. But no, it's yeah, because most most of the time, if you go to the doctor, I mean, if you go, all you know is that you know they might have their diploma on the wall. That's about it. You know nothing about them, really. Right. So. Well, and it can be them doing things they enjoy doing, like Duckwall likes the horses, or right. Jones like, you know what I mean? And they're working with horses, and but then you're also Play telling tennis. a story about a veterinary story about whatever. Right. Um, that mm. might be a really cool idea. And they saw the beaver on the yacht, and they said, "That's a freshwater animal. What on earth is it doing in salt water?" <laughs> <laughs> this is a problem. Is that yacht solved. seaworthy? Let's check. Oh gosh. Too funny. And then Colin from Polly Revival pulls up. He goes, <laughs> this boat needs lots of work. Because <laughs> he's from New Zealand. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, everybody. Uh, We're going to uh, wrap up the podcast there. We will see you next Monday. Midday. Maybe video. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. And, um, yeah. Don't forget, you can listen to the podcast on any of the podcast channels or where you consume podcasts. I'm Emily King. I'm Richie King. I'm Harrison King. And we'll see you next time on Five Boys in a Business. We're out.